I'm back, it's noisy, it's windy, I'm in town. Now what am I talking about? This is the Cog Uni Library behind me. Uh, I think it was finished in like 2001. Uh, so I remember it going up. Um, I went in about twice during my time at Cog Uni. When you do computing, you don't need a book. It's all in a PDF format. And speaking of uni, there it is. Uh, EEC as it is now, it was EC when I was there, Engineering Computing. It's now Environment Engineering Computing. Uh, so you can do geography as well as um, aerospace engineering so um, and computing like me uh, that building I had from 2012 uh, because started in 2011 I was in Armstrong Sidley which is now Cov College which is behind me that's the ring road um, but I'm actually not here to talk about uh, uni because that was you know some time ago it's a very interesting building if you look at it it's got grass on the roof and some weird uh, windows that are specially made in Europe somewhere. And they've always got a cherry picker outside cleaning up, um, which is quite amusing. No, um, I'm not here to talk about these fine examples of Carl Uni investing in the city centre. Uh, oh, but what about students? Oh, shut up about student and comp. These are proper good buildings. Learning and investment. Now I'm actually here to talk about this beaut behind me. White Friars, Carmelite Friary from 1342 because the sign is next to me. Um, so I, I can actually get the facts and figures whilst I'm stood here next to the ring road talking about this fine building. Now but this bit here is the remains of the church. Um, which ran for 96 metres through the ring road and would have been beautiful. And again, cheers to Henry VIII and his cronies. We no longer have uh, that fine building because it was sold to John Hales, who used this building here as a house. Um, well, yeah, house slash Henry VIII school uh, it, it was as well. Um, Elizabeth the first stayed in this building and again anywhere else this would be a gem but because it's in Cov it's just been ignored for decades and um, yeah it's used as well it's you can't even get in on heritage open days at the minute um, it's owned by the Herbert um, so it's, it's still looked after it's got security cameras on it and stuff but you can't actually go in and it's the only bit left of a larger complex. Um, yeah, so that, you know, obviously really frustrating as always. But uh, the first thing I would do if I had a time machine would be go back to this very spot in about 1500 uh, and see what it was like. So here's a better look at the sign. Um, you can see some pictures of the timber frame building inside with a surviving cloister. Um, not original timber but still medieval 16th century this is an interesting timeline actually showing that humanity can actually make progress um, if we want to because this building was used as a workhouse uh, in the 1800s and then it was sold to become a Salvation Army hostel so uh, you know you can turn things around obviously the rest of the buildings are all long gone it, the church building runs under the ring road however the gatehouse is still there and I'll, I'll walk down there in a minute um, and show you what's left of that um, but look I mean it's a good little photo of, uh, of my reflection you can see the other spires in the background because um, obviously as I keep reiterating Cov was actually quite important and one of the powerhouses of the medieval period um, I mean look Elizabeth first stayed in there I'll show you the window of the room which she stayed in around the other side as I walked through the underpass. Let's have a spin round anyway at the old campus. This pond they've put in is great and um, they've, they've amended it over the years. Um, and I was very happy to go, I mean this building was 50 million quid and it was a great place to learn. There's a Harrier jump jet in the basement, it's brilliant. Um, I know I'm going off on a tangent, they're building a second one on the car park which you can see actually it's pretty much there. Um, 
uh, I that's a, I know I drove and it's parking there every day in the morning otherwise it was full uh, you weren't getting here middle of the day for a car parking space no chance now you definitely won't there's a building on it um, but yeah I, I used to have lectures in this in these end rooms actually you could look out of these windows they're really cool um, never went you know I didn't use the library a great deal but obviously it's a very good resource and then there's the business department and the art department over in the distance uh, lovely uh, brutalist building uh, which takes after a building in Boston, I believe, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's very similar. And then obviously the Ring Road. And some student at Com, because we are in Cov, and if there's a crane, it's probably student at Com. And then Health and Life Sciences just over there. And another bit of student at Com Parkside, and my workplace is just behind here as well. But you can't see that in this particular shot. Oh, this video is going to take so long to upload. Oh dear. Oh, a student centre as well, which I went in maybe once to register and then never again. So yeah, it's a good little um, spot here actually for a little sit down and a, and a contemplate. And then you've got White Forest, which, you know, wonderful building. I just, I go on about it, but if you could do, if I stood here, obviously in 1500, I wouldn't, if I had a phone, I'd probably burn to the state, but... How cool would it be that just you just see spires? You wouldn't see. I mean, obviously these have their own appeal, but um, you just see spires in like medieval sandstone. Obviously, for them, they'd probably be writing into the Telegraph in the 1300s about, oh, can't believe they've built this big uh, friary uh, down the road from me. I can't believe it. I, d I don't think they should be doing that. Um, I, I think they should purely have. Um, car fusion monasteries in Coventry, none of that Carmelite rubbish or uh, Franciscan. Um, they should not be allowed here. Uh, we should fight them and put in planning uh, objections immediately. No, of course they didn't. They just went, they were building it. So shut your mouths. I'm just talking to myself now, so I will end the video here and move on to the gate of this wonderful friary. So we've got a subway and the ring road running around and here we are the other side of Whitefriars and I said Queen Elizabeth the first stayed here, which window do you think she stayed? Oh, that one, of course. Uh, there's a, a famous sort of message that she stood at the window to address the public uh, but we didn't really like her and her family because they had obviously um, taken away our lovely buildings and yeah I'm going to carry on now to the gatehouse so you remember the church was still running along the side at this point 96 metres um, back in the day so I have to go through this underpass Every time I'm in an underpass, I think of John Fox. I don't know what it is. Uh, I just want to shout, underpass! <laughs> I've got a problem, I know, I'm sorry. So I've emerged, other side of the ring road. Um, and this building is the Health and Life Science building. And these panels, I learned from the architects, were designed to look like the cathedral um, the way the windows are and I get the idea it's very good and it draws you down this cobbled path you got to think this church would have that was over there where I was uh, would have ran most of this way um, but you can see at the end of here there is another medieval building a little gatehouse and this was the Whitefriars gatehouse later the toy museum Till about 2008 I think I read and it was a house at um, it was like two cottages uh, at one point and I think it's going to be renovated so visiting lecturers can stay in there it's definitely going to be sorted out it's been shut for over a decade 
but it's still here part of much park street and it was a row of sort of medieval older buildings at one point you can see old pictures of this and it's still here uh, but every other building has gone well actually there's a ruin of one they discovered just next door but yeah this is the gatehouse to Whitefriars not one of the city gates but a gate for the church there you go there's your video for today and an elephant of course